Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 29th of 2023, well, it is titled Milky Way over a turquoise wonderland. So what do we see here? Well, we see our Milky Way up in the sky and down below on the ground in the water there, we see the glowing turquoise color that is present. Now, what we're actually seeing there is what is called a bioluminescence. So it's a glow due to living organisms. And it's a specific type of plankton that is energized by the waves as they come in and causes them to glow. So that is what we're seeing here that glow is the presence of plankton and as those waves crest there, we get the extra energy that causes them to glow. Now up in the sky, of course, we see a number of different things. And let's label a few of those here for you. And you do see our Milky Way stretching across from lower left to upper right. And up towards the top, we see the large emission nebula known as the gum nebula. So we can see that again, that's up to the very uh, upper uh, right hand side. Further down below, we see the Carina Nebula and the Running Chicken Nebula, again, additional uh, emission type nebulae. And we see the Colsac Nebula, an example of a dark nebula, a dark dusty region of star formation. So in terms of star formation, the Colsac Nebula would be one of the early stages of star formation. We can't yet see the stars. And the other nebulae that we see are regions where it has begun to expand outward. The stars have broken out of their cocoons and are therefore more visible. They are energizing the gases around them and causing them to glow with that red glow of hydrogen gas. Now we also see the Southern Cross. We have the large Northern Cross in the Northern sky. South of the equator, we have another cross that appears and it's a little smaller there, but we can see it just above the Colsac Nebula. And then off to the left, we see the star known as Omega Centauri, part of the constellation of Centaurus. And that also contains the bright star Alpha Centauri, which is the system of stars nearest to our own sun. So we see some of the nearest stars there. So in addition to seeing all of those things in the sky, we also see the bioluminescent plankton in the waves off of the island here uh, in the Indian Ocean. So that was our picture of the day for May 29th of 2023. It was titled Milky Way over a turquoise wonderland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be just above Jupiter. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.